It's interesting how much the top end leaps out of you just because of an EQ cut and a bit of compression, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. All of a sudden. Well, it's quite a big cut, actually. I mean, I ended up, it was like four or five dBs, wasn't it? Six dBs yeah. cut at um, 120 hertz. I mean, it's loads of it. It's base monster. It's loads of it. So, well, all right, let's carry on with it just for the sake of... Where did you actually say the level difference is half dB between the source and the mastered version? That's the adjustment. It's only half a dB and in the measured loudness because of our ear's sensitivity to the frequency responses. I was going to say, you were, going to say, you were saying it's pre the inserts. It's only pre the limiter, isn't it, the one you put on there? It's not pre the... I think it's pre... Um, but if you bounce it down, you can control it. I think it's pre everything. Is it? And now, yeah, we can see more gain reduction happening in the multiband. And look, a little bit of mid range. So if I whack that right up, it's distorted. <laughs> so of course, uh, anyway. Um, I don't dress. We can use perception to my, my plugin to make all of this much easier. So Perception has two plugins, in fact. There's one called the source and there's one called the controller. So you put the source in, it doesn't do anything, it just sits there and listens to the audio right at the beginning of the chain. So that's before the gain, before the EQ, before the compression and before the limiter. And then the controller module, which I've already got in the master output there. Sorry, where what? The perception uh, plugin was it before or after? Because I can see the. So you've got the source, yeah. which is the thing that listens okay, to the yeah. original signal right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put them wherever you like. Yeah. You could use it, put them on either side of just one processor. Okay. Because I was thinking how the bypass thing actually works. If it's uh, if it needs to, if the the plugin needs to kind of read all the all the uh, all the other effects or, and processes that were before. Or it doesn't. Could, it, could they be it, all the it does. All, it. all that happens when it hits bypass is it yeah. plays you what was coming into the source. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it just yeah. uh, how we did that is a secret. Yeah. It's quite a, quite a subtle difference, but it's the kind of thing that's really hard to pick out without this kind of processing. Um, the other thing that the plugin can do, which helps, is to sync because there's that's a linear phase EQ that I've used. Um, they always have a delay, so there's quite a big latency. So we can press the sync button, it'll think for a minute.